good win. But we are jumping into our next matchup. And that's going to be New York versus New Jersey here. Uh, one of these players I really enjoy seeing. Uh, and we don't see them too often anymore. We see Syrup all the time. I love Syrup. Shout outs to uh, Syrup's mom, too. She's a wonderful person. Yes. But we got to shout out Cody. And I know Reggie is going to love to talk about his region. Yeah, no, Cody, fantastic peach player. From even from a sub region of second LI. best peach in uh, New York, right? Third, <laughs> yeah. third best peach. But, okay, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh shit! But we let him on the PR. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Mr. PR panel over here. Okay, yeah. tell me no, more about Cody, though. No, fantastic player. Actually, been on the rise and known for doing great combos on just people turn up trains, um, just zero to depths. Um, you can see even see a parasol combo. I'm not sure if he's played syrup, but does have a fantastic record against Pango yeah. and many other Steves in the region like D Dog. So I'm excited to see this matchup because I've run into syrup almost every other time I've played out a region and I've gotten to polish. <laughs> so She's I want to see if he has the answers. <laughs> I will say one thing is that if there's any place in Tri State to live for Steve practice, I think Long Island's probably one of the best. I think you guys have like three Steves right there we over have there. Like six. Like six Steves, right? I definitely think Cody has a pretty decent amount of experience in a matchup like this. And in Jersey, you don't really have that many beach players out here, honestly. Like if there's one matchup that Steve doesn't see too Ooh. often, it's definitely gonna be this. But uh yeah, man, I I'm excited to see how this matchup goes. Yeah, and shouts to Syrup with a uh, pretty rough schedule already so far, going from Smash Bros into Cody, but it looks like they are uh, pretty uh, unevenly matched in terms of the head-to-head, -head, but <laughs> it is not, it's not a storied history. It's only two matches, uh, and it is unfortunately also five games, but I think today's day. the day for yeah. anyone, right? <laughs> Everyone's coming into this event with a lot of confidence, maybe not necessarily to take it all home for some players, but to take some names, right? To yeah. start a run, to start a story, and this is like the perfect place to get a prologue, just one round in or so really yeah. big name to go up against, but feeling comfortable still early in the day and like coming in with a solid game plan, Cody could definitely make it happen. Yeah, right. absolutely. I got to talk about Syrup though, of course. This is, you know, New Jersey's like pride and joy, honestly. I, we My saw goat. the um, event placements earlier. I mean, there's a ton of firsts. There's a ton of top 16s at majors. There's top eights. There's everywhere for this kid. He has so much promise initially coming out of the gate with that Ness, and honestly, um, I know at his first tournament offline, which I do believe was a Garden State right after quarantine, he had that in-game tag Wi-Fi Warrior, and he has proven he is honestly anything but. I mean, he's still he top is, ten on Wi-Fi, by the way. True. I mean, <laughs> he is a fantastic player. Uh, he's so fun to watch. But I know as the regions have divided over Steve, Syrup is very pro Steve, and Steve and Syrup will be playing Steve. But I think, once again, as we we're going to go through these brackets, every Steve player does play differently. I know a lot of people are like, oh, they just run behind walls. But I really love to see Syrup's follow-ups and setups. And I'm really excited to see how this matchup is going to go because this looks rough for Peach. Yeah, it's ironic that you bring up how each Steve player plays differently. I think going off what you did with the Ness is Steve, Syrup's Steve is very reminiscent of the Ness, well, given sure. that he's most of his combo routes are coming from aerials, the way he his combo expression, he constantly mix up whether it's around the ledge or getting back. He's constantly looking for that reversal, which is how Ness bases their entire game plan off of. It's really not too much of the defensive game plan, but also given that he's the top player he is, when he needs to do that, when he needs to take a step back, he's willing to camp to absolutely his heart's content. And that's what that's what that is the makings of a top player right there. <laughs> now, how do you feel about we're talking about this match? How do you feel about this matchup? Give me a rundown. It's awful. Tell me why it's awful. <laughs> I plead the fifth on how I feel about the matchup. <laughs> but, Speak on, <laughs> um, No, it's awful because I feel like Pe Peach is a character that's floaty, wants to be in the air, has a great amount of tools to be in the air with, and Steve just denies her. Steve having one of the best, best ground games there is, and the best anti-air with that walking up tilt, just able to get a lot of combos right there. And if you get even get hit by one of the mine cards right there, it could just leave into massive damage. Yeah, and the walls are usually a pretty big problem for Peach, too. He has some good tools to get around them, but if the Steve kind of baits it out, you get stuck in this whole situation, right? 45 and counting. Battlefield platforms also kind of helping out, but could kind of help Cody get back to the ground, too. 
And I, I would like to see some Peach combos. I mean, I think this matchup is still pretty bad for Peach, but I've seen Ling do some really good stuff once you kind of get around those aerials or those walking jabs. And look at that! <gasps> what a punish! That what? was exactly what I was asking for. Thank you, Cody. Yeah, honestly, um, I hate to, like, bring it to a different game, but I think earlier when we were talking about, like, different styles of Steve, the where my brain goes first is to Street Fighter, where it's modern and classic, right? And I think Syrup does an amazing job of playing both modern Steve and classic Steve of, you know, either, like, that camp and run, my goodness, that almost was the most terrifying mind part of all of it. That was the most Tunes situation. <laughs> or, you know, plays to this, like, amazing kind of, like, freestyle of where you're really able to kind of just find these openings wherever you need to. But Cody's still in the lead. I mean, Reggie, what does Cody need to do to keep this lead at this point? He needs to start avoiding. Not do that. He not do no. that. Well, basically that. But a bunch of Syrup <laughs> setups. Syrup from playing has the most unique setups I've seen. And you also got to avoid up tilts right there. But that's been super oh. difficult for Peach. But Syrup's setups is game is where I think he's the super strong. And like Cody's combo game, as we saw earlier, it's just which one can be avoided first. I think the thing is that Cody's combo game and finishing is really, really good. And his precision for getting those kinds actually is pretty good in general, right? The fact that if you overextend once, you make one mistake, Peach starting every single one of her combos by running at you in right up in your face with back air, with turn up the toss or whatever. And if you overextend just a little bit, I mean, Syrup's had that anvil unlock every single time. The other thing, too, is we saw Cody try and start with these floats with the turnip in hand, catching a roll in. But Serb is usually just fast enough to roll in up tilt, and then all of a sudden it's a huge reversal, right? Then Cody's on the back foot getting comboed by Serb as opposed to the complete opposite that's, you know, Cody's looking for. And then when you have to try and get around these balls, the minecart, and all of these up tilts and aerials, it gets really, really hard for Cody. But this is a good way to get it started. Down tilt into the forward air and possibly an edge guard here, but Serb just cruises right back. Yeah, that's the thing, though. I mean, Battlefield gives Steve tons of places to reset and just get comfortable. Again, the air dodge, though, onto top platform isn't red, but the side special will connect, has the stitch face, so we could get something started, but Syrup wanting absolutely nothing to do with that just yet. Going to roll out, still has Diamond to work with, but nothing oh. of a material bar also either. So we really have to kind of consider that this might be our only kind of shining diamond of this, you know, interaction technically but a little bit of a slower neutral here and now cody has to line up for an edge guard the turn up unfortunately hits a different way but the nair will take the stock yeah and fantastic job syrup with almost no materials right now this is where cody wants to strike if he can get an up air combo or something with turn up in hand he could probably close out the stock really early but good job just waiting out syrup's pressure great parry oh but unfortunately God. there is something after that <laughs> he put Always. him in the thingamajig <laughs> That was crazy. He, said, he did 44. TNT, jab away, roll back, jump block, anvil, yep. anvil dropped. Somehow Cody survived all of that. Right. It's like, okay, finally compress the button. Nope, down smash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, come on, bro. It's like the joys of Steve that we were talking about earlier, right? The anvil does so much because it forces the issue somewhat, right? The TNT covering the roll in that situation too. So you're like, all right, well, I can't roll. I can't really jump because of the down smash. I can't get up because of the anvil. And then the anvil also keeps you one block higher. So you, you dodge most get up attacks, peaches especially, because it's like usually so low. I think he needs it. Yeah, he might. <laughs> That one thing you might need. <laughs> well, I I feel like once you you feel like you escape one Steve thing, right? And there's like five other options that come after. Uh, Syrup though taking a page out of the Justin Byleth book and just extending off of that uh, the vertical block up. And I think that's kind of classy, right? Like it essentially just uh, ensures that you really never know where to exactly land, where exactly to be guy. Because the scariest place for Steve to be is just standing still, standing straight and saying, hey, guess what? Make a move. I'm ready for it. But honestly, this game number two, uh, first stop for Cody, not looking too great. But honestly, I mean, we saw Cody in this position before where Syrup got a little overzealous on the ledge. But look at this tower kind of preventing Cody from really getting anything he oh wants right God. now. Dude, he's playing a balloons game. Right yeah, now. and you Crazy. mentioned Dustin Byleth earlier. Dustin Byleth is training partners with Syrup yeah. and that entire crew that we were going to talk about probably throughout the day. And you can definitely see like some of the pattern recognitions of like what they do sure. with Steve or their other characters on like how they get out of defensive habits in certain situations. And we're seeing here, like speaking of defensive situations, right? Like the way that, so like lacking materials, trying to get that back, but still having the two blocks up. Still recognizing Cody jumping in, trying to find an opening. It's having that, 
is that being able to, to recognize where his opponent's being while also playing his own defensive game, doing both both at the same time is insane. Yeah, and the defensive game is even better too. You see like high quality materials getting racked up, mining on the side of the stage just for a little extra spice as well. It really forces the issue and makes Cody have to do something. But the problem is, once you pick the wrong option, look at all of this damage, 70%, and still on the back foot, stuck on the platform. That Finally. Good SDI. Yeah, that Nair was huge. Yeah. Honestly, it's been so much of this old reliable damage, and this is the one of the things that you really need as a Steve player, is your not only ability to get your combos right, but to adapt to SDI to different DIs right on the fly so you can get all these extensions. Like, yes, of course, Steve does have this massive damage output, but the way that Syrup goes about getting a lot of this damage on is just off of pure reads. But Cody will be able to find this forward air. We're going to second stock, but it, it feels like Syrup always has at least the insurance diamond, if not any of a material bar to go with. Yeah, and what you're seeing different here from like Justin Bylove, you're seeing Syrup, even with a lead, still able to put up a wall just so he can get materials and not be as lacking as he was when like with Justin and taking the stock right there, forcing Cody to like do an aggressive option. And again, just getting more materials, more diamond on deck. Just waiting before we saw Cody up B out of that situation. That was just waiting for Cody to overextend and it's looking bad. Oh my, he's looking for the back air, looking for something to take the stock here. I can find the roll in there with an up tilt just yet either. Waiting for Cody to press an option, finally finding the spot dodge, but still hanging on somehow, some way. Cody still through thick and thin. Turnups in hand, waiting for Syrup to press the button. But even then, Syrup still pushing through the up tilt, the jab on shield, even the backer still not taking the stock. Cody just trying, guessing every single. Uh, oh my God! No, no. Where get him out! Get him out! Get him out! Ag, all right, Ag. So, um, as kind of the host of this couch here for this specific block, and one of my favorite analysts to really work with, um, I would like for you to tell me how you get out of that. Uh, well, apparently, uh, pick a god and <laughs> in pray. my in my experience, it's forceful eviction. <laughs> he said, "He said, welcome to your new home. We'll be seeing you. <laughs> In this economy? Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. That was so absurd. And there were so many layers to that, too, right? So we saw bad. huge punishes forcing the jumps out of the corner because of things like the anvil or the block. And then when Cody was like, okay, I can't keep jumping. I have to try and stay grounded. Syrup was just like, I'm going to stay at roll distance, and I'm going to up tilt. And too many times, Cody rolled right into it. Yeah. Really good stuff. He also got, pun he got punished right there for... Try plucking a turn up and then rolling into it. Right, right. Definitely not the move right there. I think the move might be just trying to go reset to ledge, but that's so scary because then you deal with syrups like ledge traps and his other setups right there. And we're seeing we're going back to battlefield right here. And I kind of agree with the stage choice. Um, PS2 definitely really hard for Peach to deal with. Um, at least here you get to smother Steve and work with the platforms. I think the biggest struggle Ooh. we're seeing with Cody right now is that with a lot of Steve's, there's at least like a solid flow chart. Syrup is one of the only players who doesn't have a flow chart, right? Whether he's in advance, whether he's in disadvantage, he's constantly mixing up his approaching. Whether he's in the middle of a combo, he'll step away, step up, uh, step up a wall, go to mining again. The second he gets anywhere near him, he's coming out again with a back air, with an up tilt, with something of the sort. Syrup is constantly keeping his opponent guessing of what the hell is this kid gonna do? I don't know where he's gonna go. I don't know what button to press because he's constantly pressuring me. Exactly, and right there we saw just a little jab on shield and then keeping the pressure up as opposed to previous interactions we saw kind of falling back and mining the classic footstool deer out of shield. Plenty of time to mine, especially with those golden tools. I love that idea. And of course, still trying to he punish the roll in. He got hit by the pickaxe hit of the upstairs. Yeah. I've never seen that. <laughs> it covers so much. It I think what you're building off of AG, the fact that I, I, everything covers so much. Like, and that's what I think Cody is just struggling with is not the fact that Cody is playing bad. It's just every Ooh. option that Syrup Whoa. has thrown Good. has an answer, but the snipe of the turnip will just do it here. So it is even stocks, but Syrup gonna go back into classic Steve, pluck that diamond and just get ready for Cody to initiate something. But yeah. Reggie, I mean, with uh, oh, I, was, oh, <laughs> I was about to say, still 78, though. with stitch in hand, there's a lot that can happen. Yeah, that turnip train definitely managed to even up the game. And unfortunately, getting caught jumping right there and Syrup taking the lead. But Cody definitely doing a great job. If Cody can take the stock without doing getting much damage done on them, it's definitely going to have ourselves a game right here. Yeah, man. I mean, the way... That, I mean, Cody has a solid idea of how to find his damage here. and I mean, he knows when to punish Syrup. He's punished Syrup accordingly, jumping over him. 
right? He's done that a couple times now. It's the fact that Syrup isn't really doing it too well, because every single time he's either throwing on an anvil or something of the sort, so whenever he gets the materials low, that's what Cody is focusing on going in. But finally, we're seeing some crazy combo extensions. 64%. Cody is, I think this is his first lead of the set. Yeah, we're seeing some of those combos that we saw right when the set started. Finally, Cody waking up, using that advantage very, very well right now. Maybe going for a little bit too much and going to oh, have to get... Oh, my God. Yeah. Anyway, oh my as God. you were saying... Wow. I was going to say he was using it the advantage very well, but one small misstep got caught in the checkmate situation functionally. Really good pickup from Syrup. He got his first lead. He's right. like, okay, all right. I'm back. Tournament hand. Time to I'm go. Back. Syrup's like... Boom, back throw, you're gone, buddy. Also nice, your, better luck next time. Also your last lead, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, tons of clips for the syrup uh, make Steve look godlike real. Uh, they still make those? On. Do people still make those? Yes. Um, honestly, I am I'm baffled every time I watch this game play, man. I mean, the, the clip combo potential, but of course, we have to give Cody his flowers. I mean, uh, coming out of this game, especially in this game one, super strong, right? Like, definitely... Planting foot in ground and saying, hey, guess what? I know you're, like, one of the best players here, but I also can definitely, like, put a flag in and say that I'm here. But the problem is, and we've been kind of alluding to it, it's just that Syrup has an answer for everything, and it's so hard to kind of get out of that initial combo weight when Steve and Syrup himself just so much. You you just can't escape. It's like a saw trap. Yeah, no, it. That's probably the best analogy. It, 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 it is. is it is. Trap. You can. You get through one room and it's like boom, and then Jigsaw's like, "Let's play another game." Uh, <laughs> well, like I'm back whatever in. I put you in in game number two. Like, how do you get out of that? Like that entire sequence really is kind of a saw trap. Yeah. This right here. Yeah, this that, is that a, actually, this is a nightmare. Right? I mean, craziest saw trap. Like, oh, you deleted your brother's <laughs> Minecraft world back then, so now you have to face Europe in a best of five. <laughs> <laughs> Go awesome. ahead, Momo. What are your favorite parts of this set? My favorite parts of this set, honestly, the fact, like, what Syrup did, like, after taking such a long string of damage from Cody and his, like, extensions with the turnip, is being able to take a step back and not necessarily force the situation. I have to catch Cody jumping in at you. It's taking your own step back, saying, okay, I'm not going to find the reversal here. I'm going to catch you feeling yourself. I'm going to catch you extending the I need to go and find more. I'm doing good, really good. I'm going to push the situation. And then... Retreating air, retreating up to, retreating yeah. jab, retreating back air. And Syrup just did that constantly, and it worked out every single time. And he found so much chicanery, if you will, <laughs> off of that nonsense. Literally, it's, it's the, the, the thingamajig on the ledge, or it was the thingamabob. I don't right. know what he did. The whatchamacallit. The whatchamacallit, yeah. there you go. But I think it was super <laughs> the interesting. The contraption. Oh.